All right. So uh, I was asked to for the for the web development course to do this tutorial on um. What is this here? To do this tutorial on getting started with the Amazon Web Services, um, because there's a lot of different components uh, stretching across a few different sort of uh, technologies. I figured a video tutorial would kind of be the best way to go about this. So. Yeah, let's just uh, jump right in. Um, also, if the mic is really bad, I'd like to apologize, because it's very possible. Okay, so um, basically, there's going to be... Oh, where's my toolbar gone? There we go. Uh, there's going to be four components... I think yeah, let's yeah, let's go with four for now. Uh to this video. I'm not sure exactly how long it's gonna be. Could take a long time. Um if everything goes smoothly, maybe not. Part one though is gonna be um let's see. Part Oh god, that is awful. <laughs> okay, part one is gonna be um just getting started with AWS, uh, Amazon Web Services, and setting up our machine on the cloud, and uh, doing a few other things on there. Um, that part won't take long at all, but uh, after that, jeez Louise. Yep. Yeah. Um, so after that, we're going to move on to, right, setting up our lamp on... Oh man, this writing is awful. Setting up LAMP on our uh, machine that we set up with AWS. And to do that, we're going to need basically just SSH on whatever computer you're currently on. That's an H. Um, I'm, I'm on my Ubuntu machine, by the way, so if you do have a Linux instance, following along will definitely be a lot easier. <laughs> Uh, I figured everyone had access to this sort of thing, but uh, right. So, so in this section, we're going to be dealing with you know classic uh, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP stack. Um, let's go with capitals. And then in part three, uh, we're going to actually set up TLS on our AWS server. And um, we're going to do this using something called xip.io. And we're going to use open source project let's, if I can spell it, let's encrypt. Oh, heavens, I don't have enough room. Um, part four is going to be the shortest one. We're just going to be installing PHP my admin, which we went over in class a little bit in one of the workshops. Um, so most of you should be comfortable with this by now. Not the setting up, of course, but the uh, actual using. All right, so jumping right in, let's. Uh, I guess we can just leave that there. If we head over to the Amazon Web Services website. Um, Actually, I should say, the one thing I'm not going to go over is um, getting your account with AWS set up. I figured the video will be long enough as is, and that portion should be uh, pretty straightforward. But there will be a time when, uh, in, in registration when they ask you for your credit card information. I'm just going to say right now that that is uh, that you should go ahead and, and put that information in. And I promise you will not be charged because uh, everything we're using is, is part of the free package that you get for 90 months. So, uh... Alright, <coughs> so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click here. This is the AWS uh, dashboard, or I'm not sure what they call it. Um, so we're going to click here. E EC2, that's just a category of servers that uh, Amazon provides and it's gonna bring you to this page we're gonna launch an instance um, typically here I'd probably go with Ubuntu just because I've 
obviously a bit more experience in that environment, but um, we're actually going to go with Amazon Linux, which is sort of their own little distro they have set up just for this occasion. Uh, it, it's, it actually makes the process a lot smoother, so I definitely recommend it. Um, right, so you're going to want to go with T2 Micro, as it's the one that's eligible with the for the uh, free tier portion of the AWS account. Also, uh, I'm going to try to not move my mouse around, because I know I've got it set to uh, following my mouse, just so you don't have a huge spaced out view of my screen. But, um, yeah, yeah, I don't want to make, make this too nauseating. Alright. Um, I, I should have said at the beginning, uh, as soon as I came into my AWS account, that I, I haven't set up anything on this account yet, so I should have the exact same sort of setup and preferences that that you guys have upon creating your accounts. Um, okay, so number of instances, we want one. We're not going to mess with any of this. Roles, we can we can create some roles, but um, at the moment I'm not really so sure. We need to be concerned with that. Shut down behavior, stop. Yeah, sure. Storage, uh, yeah, this is really all we need. Looks good. Tag, don't need to worry about this. Um, okay, this is our security group, and it, it kind of, it dictates what sort of activity and protocols are, um, we allow to pass through, coming in and going out. Um, I'm just going to leave it as it is for the time being, but we're going to want to, actually, uh, yeah, here, I'm just going to go with this default, which I'm pretty sure, so, so what I did there is I, at assign a security group, I switch from create a new one to select an existing one. Um, how do I, here we go. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this one doesn't allow any traffic at first, but we're going to do with it what we need to later. So let's take a look at what we got. T2 Micro, yada yada. Alrighty. Uh, let's just go ahead and launch this. And then the window that's going to come up is they're going to ask us if we want to use an existing key pair or um, create a new one. This is for uh, securely connecting to the server via SSH. So we're going to click here, create a new one. You can just name it whatever. Nice and creative. And then we want to download our private key portion. And then you'll see this here in our downloads. Here it is. Uh, right. So, um, and, and you're going to want to make note of, of where it's saved. Mine, I can just go from my home directory into downloads. And it should be there. Keep it. Yep, there we go. All right. Um, yeah, so we're going to need that in the second portion. But uh, actually, the first portion might pretty well be done. Okay, so now we should have this instance going live. Right, so we're going to have to wait for this in it to initialize. Um, not really sure how long that's going to take, but yeah, we'll continue on when that's done with it.